Hello folks. Well, after I ended that video, um, I decided I did want to add some ribbony lines on there to just add a little more depth and interest to the piece, and I think it helped. I like the purple a lot better than the orange lines, but um, live and learn. I did the orange first, and then I'm afraid to go back over them, trying to duplicate the look of the purple or I might just completely mess it up so I'm going to leave well enough alone. Let me go ahead and take you down for a close-up to see some of these really nice areas. This paint is amazing. I like the wispy white there and let's see this area over here looks cool and yeah I like that purple ribbon very much. And the orange, not so much. Okay, so there's the finished product. And now it's time to watch the video. Hello, my friends. I'm going to be painting a kiss pour tonight but before I begin I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my humble channel. I reached my personal goal of a thousand subscribers with the flamingo tutorial I did um, and it just really tickles me that people are interested in watching me paint and I do enjoy the teaching aspect. I'm curious to know if you would like to see more pours or more embellishing tutorials. Um, there's so many wonderful poor artists out there doing tutorials. I don't know that you need yet another one, but um, that's a lot of fun as well. So let me know in the comments, please, what your preference is. So last night I tried this uh, traveling kiss pour, which I saw for the first time on Naptime Creations channel. And she does wonderful work, but I had some leftover paint, so I did this one and um, I didn't expect to like it but I, I really do like the color I mean the colors were so odd together <clears throat> but I think it came out quite dramatic I didn't care for this portion so I just painted black over that and I'm pretty pleased with it so there it is so tonight um, I'm going to be using Artist Loft ready mix paints these were leftover paints made with Floetrol and um, stuff. It's a big variety of things. I could never duplicate it. So, uh, but just for ease, I'm going to be using Artist Loft Premix paints on this one in purple, yellow, orange, red, white. And then I made some custom mixes, yellow and orange, <clears throat> to come up with this um, more of a tangerine color. And then crimson and violet to come up with this deeper color for a little more contrast. So since it's a pre-mixed paint, I don't think you need to watch me pour it into the cups. I'm going to um, pause this for a moment and I shall return. Okay, I have returned. I'm pouring over this dud of a pour and I'm debating whether to do this traveling kiss pour um i think i will i want i it's hard it's not as easy as it looks but i need the practice so i'm going to tilt the canvas this way turn it this way so i can just pour diagonally straight up and down that should be a little easier than trying to pour like that so um i've used these colors before and i absolutely loved it, it was my video number five one of my very earliest videos made with these Artist Loft Ready Mixed. And I don't have the pour anymore. I wish I did. I just loved it. Um, go take a look at that if you would. And <laughs> so I'm trying to duplicate the colors, but you know how that goes. I don't remember um, how I layered or whatever. So, okay, here we go. Oh, should I do that? You know, I'm not. I'm going to do just a kiss pour, but right in the middle and let it just pour out. I think that's 
almost a surefire success. The other one is a little tricky. Okay, so you pour them out at the same time, letting them meet and mingle in the air there. Maybe I'll save some for drizzle for old time's sake. I used to be so hooked on on that ring pour with ring and ribbon. I haven't done that in a long time. It doesn't work with all paints, but works well with these um, artist loft. Or not. Looks like I'm just going to pour it all out. Ooh, what I can see of it is pretty. Okay. All right. Okay, let's see if that's an odd color there. How that happen? It could be the purple and, and yellow. And kind of a green color, but oh, that's pretty over there. Okay. Since I'm not crazy about this part. I'm going to start tilting that away. Oh, that just looks like sunrise there, doesn't it? Oh, it's not green. It's more of a the purple came through. That's interesting. I don't like that, that uh, line there between the purple and the orange, but it could change a lot. Hmm. I'm not, I don't like this color at all, but I, I've got to leave it there for a moment while I come over here, and then I'll get rid of it. Hopefully. Best laid plans, huh? Oh, now look at that. That's <laughs> That area is very interesting. These Artist Loft Ready Mix have a translucent quality to them. They make for some very interesting effects. Okay, let's see if we can word ourselves with that ugly color. Gonna have to have some of it. Hmm. 
lump there. I have anything left? I do. I may have to do the drizzle, folks. I haven't done that in a long, long time. Just trying to move it around a lot, get interesting um, composition, lots of movement in it. There are some very pretty effects happening. Oh, if only that wasn't there. So close to the edge, I probably could run it off. Go. Ooh, what did I do? Why did I do that? And I'm going to have to really send it over. Oh my gosh, what did I do? Go, go, go. gone. Whew. Don't come back. You know, I think I may leave it. I, I like a lot of it. This is, I don't want to drip all over it. This part here is very pretty. And over here, nice feathery flame looking effect. Yeah. So I think I'm pleased with that. I think I will um, let it go for now. No drizzle on this one. And uh, hope to see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.